Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Martial Champion. And this is another uh, re-upload that I'm doing. An old uh, video I made, but without narration. This time it has narration. And this is a fighting game. It was one of the, the million of versus fighting games that came out in the 90s in the wake of the Street Fighter II success. This was created by Konami in 1993. And uh, this has really huge sprites. It's really kind of impressive. Very vibrant colors. Um, interesting uh, kind of anime-styled characters. But uh, not, not a bad fighter. Um, certainly better than a lot of imitators of uh, Street Fighter II. Street Fighter 2 came out in 1991 and spawned a bajillion copycats. See the animation is not not too bad. I uh, I used to semi have the hots for the Rachel character and she's the American ninja. This is a Jin and Goldor. Goldor's French and he has nunchucks. And Jin is a like a kung fu uh, type of martial artist. Each character only has like two special moves. Uh, note that when their energy gets low, their life bar flashes. This is the time when the opponent character that you fight smartens up big time kind of uh, unique to fighting games and uh, kind of sucks <laughs> I mean it I mean it's kind of fair I mean that's kind of how real life should be players should smarten up when their energy is almost out and devise ways to come back and beat their opponent There's, there's various cool uh, background settings. There's the White House. But, um, yeah, this, this isn't a bad game. Again, notice how large the characters are in, compared to, in comparison to how they usually look in fighting games. Pretty impressive. We'll get started in just a second. Uh, I saw this at uh, Nickel Arcade, you know, back in the early 90s. It had a bunch of fighting games like Martial Champion and Street Fighter 2 and uh, Power Instinct and some other ones. This, this wasn't too bad an attempt. It can kind of grow on you once you play it for a while. Yeah, I chose Rachel because... I used to like her a lot back in the day. She has really strong thighs. Chun-Li type of thighs. You can knock the uh, weapon out of the opponent's hands. But you can't use the weapon. It's kind of stupid. You just hold on to it and do your regular attacks. You have three buttons. And uh, they each do uh, an attack strength. There's one that's a mild attack. She has a, a little slide kick. But it's not really a special attack. I'll show off her special attacks in a moment. One that's really helpful is a dash attack. You just hold back for a couple seconds and then push forward and I think it's your mid middle attack. Well, yeah, there's, there's a low, there's a middle, and there's a high attack. Those are the three attacks. And she can have a, a like a body slam if she jumps in the air and meets her opponent halfway and pushes the I think it's middle button. She has a powerful slam when opponents get too close. Now we face a, another opponent. This time in the same, not in a, not in a new setting, in the same setting as the last opponent. That's what happens when it says 
here comes a new challenger. And I'm facing Chaos. And in Japan, her name is Titi. I think Titi makes more sense. She's uh, an Egyptian princess. That last move I did is from rapidly pressing the middle attack button. That dash is very helpful. <laughs> did I mention she's got ginormous thighs? <laughs> She's got, she's got long legs, so use her long mid kick to keep opponents away or to, to kick at them from far away. And again, when you get close, she's got a nice strong uh, body slam or a suplex, actually. Use, uh, use that when you get close. Using the shadow attack. Again, it's a charge back and then forward and mid kick button attack. Using that to knock them out of the air when they jump at you is, is often a good idea. Not bad music. And a Yep. Didn't give her a chance to smarten up and come back. Don't look at my body or you will be a loser. Okay, there's some anguish in this game. Round one. Fight! Suppose another girl could be looking at her body. <laughs> now we face Hoi. Uh, Kung Fu master type of guy. A drunken monkey or whatever you want to call it and each enemy has a weakness his is uh, coming down after a, a jumping attack that he does and uh, oftentimes when an enemy comes down from an attack they are vulnerable best just to do a quick kick attack when they come down instead of like a, a dash attack. Round two, fight. Using the dash attack can leave you vulnerable. But uh, yeah, I like using her because she's got a long kick and a, and a quick uh, a quick suplex when enemies get too close. But it's good not to let him land in front of you because uh, his his uh, grab attack is quick too, and uh, he will often come up with it first. So just kick him while he's coming down in midair. Yeah, it's getting kind of close. There we go. He's running out of time. There's <laughs> a panda in the background uh, waving a flag. Now I face Jin. I don't. Yeah, his. You can counter his uh, jump attacks with your uh, dash attack. And it's a good idea when you get behind him after that dash attack to quickly attack again. Don't give him time to uh, to grab you and throw you. Yeah, that was too close. <laughs> Turnabout's fair play, asshole. Ah, damn it. There we go. Suplex. There we go. Yeah, just learn the learn the weaknesses of the enemies and you can actually uh, do all right in this game ah, you asshole some of the some of the enemies are are fairly cheap yeah, you don't want to overdo the the dash attack when they're just standing there it's probably not a good idea to do it 
But yeah, when they jump, do the dash attack and then turn around and attack real quick. And that's a good strategy. Uh, that is not, because they'll grab you. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. My timing was, was not good there. There we go. Rachel win. My art of the ninja is unrivaled. Now we face Mahamba. Yeah, there were four guys I did not have to face. We'll we'll look at them later. Mahamba is a cheap bastard. That attack is, is easy to uh, counterattack. When he jumps at you, just block and then turn around and kick him. But there's a little a little attack he does to get close and to grab you and, and hurt you, and it it's really cheap. And that that's it. But he didn't get close enough. That, that's it. God, I hate that. Get the hell off me. Obviously, shake the... Shake the joystick and hit the buttons to get him off of you. Ugh, bastard. I'm sure there was one kick attack that I could use that would knock him out of the air when he does that. But I just barely beat him. He's a, he's a cheap, uh, cheap bastard. Kind of makes me think of Dalsim. Hey, there I got him. Again, you can knock the weapon out of the enemy's hands, but you don't attack with that weapon. So, so really, it only uh, picking up their weapon only serves a uh, purpose of keeping the weapon out of their hands. So they can only do like punch and kick attacks. God, I hate that, hate that move of his. It's really friggin' cheap and annoying. Uh, you asshole. Yeah, he makes me think of Dawson from Street Fighter 2 because of his jump and dive attacks. Like Dawson does with his, with his head. Yeah, I, I really like Rachel because of the length of her legs when she kicks and her uh, and her suplex move for the enemies that get too close. Uh, God, I hate that grab of his and strangle attack or whatever it is he's doing. Damn it! <laughs> so close. And now I face the final boss. And he's a pain in the ass, and his name is Salamander. Salamander is the name of a Konami game. Its alternate name is Life Force, which was seen in the US. And his his special move is all the moves from all the characters in the game, all their special moves, he can do them all. And he does them all the damn time. One thing Rachel has in her corner is her is her gra is her suplex slam. Round <sighs> two fight And Salamander does not have his own stage. He has to borrow somebody else's stage, which is kinda lame. Yeah, she does have a she does have that grab if she can get close enough. That's where she's got an advantage. Oh, nice! Got one victory. Round three, fight! Yeah, 
Yeah, this this unfortunately didn't didn't really uh, prove to be terribly popular in the arcades. That's better than a lot of the Street Fighter 2 knockoffs. You can speed up the continue counter by wailing on the buttons. I'm not going to continue, but I will show you the ending of the game and every character's ending, all of which are pretty stupid. Where are my initials? That's Martial Champion by Konami in 1993. Yeah, I'll show you the other characters in just a moment. Now, sorry, I went through the boot up screen. But uh, yeah, this game isn't too bad. I kind of like this. It, it grows on you once you play it for a while and you start to learn the weaknesses of the enemies or the uh, opponents and how to counterattack them or how to uh, how to like attack them when they're in the air when they're at their most vulnerable this will look at I'm I'm not gonna try to get far with him. I just want to show a couple of his moves, or his two moves. There's one move. And then here's his other move. And that guy's called Zen, and he's a Kabuki actor. And the other guy's name is TT, and he's this creepy guy. His name is actually supposed to be Chaos. It's Chaos in the Japanese version. The characters TT and Chaos were switched in the American version, and I think they made more sense in the Japanese version. <laughs> I do like that attack, I think it's funny. He's almost like the Joker from Hong Kong with claws. And this is Avu and Bobby. And Avu is this portly uh, Saudi Arabian swordsman, and Bobby is kind of like Guile from... Street Fighter 2. Oh, he has a fire breath and a dash attack. Body spin. But again, uh, when the enemies, the opponent's energy is down to the bar flashing and they really smarten up and the battle gets really tough. Well, let's look at the ending. Rachel will beat Salamander here. I'll skip forward a little tiny bit. And then we'll see her ending. And then we'll watch all the characters' endings. I want more thrilling action as she lounges on a chair on a on a ship. What? An assassin is a dagger lands in your revenge for your boss, isn't it? Bunch of ninjas chasing her. I had nothing to do. Okay, try to beat me if you can. God her hips are just stupid large. It's kinda disgusting really. But now we're going to look at some of the other endings. Jin's ending. I won, but I could have done better. He's meditating in Waterfall. I have to get stronger for the next fight. And now we're going to look at Zen's ending. What a good feeling it is. I love the Kabuki stage more than any other. And now we're going to look at uh, Poi's ending. No one could be my follower in this place. I'm going back home. He floats on a cloud, uh, Goku style. Goodbye. That's kind of stupid. 
know, look at uh, uh, TT's or Chaos in Japan's version. I heard another man again. Next time I'll use this trick to save the world. <laughs> He's a gardener now. He's cutting up uh, bush statues. Mahamba's ending. Daddy. Our real power is now revealed. Mahamba. What? Okay, I don't so get that. And Avu's ending. I won and got a lot of money. Now I'm going back home. My wife is waiting for me. Welcome back, my darling. I'm home. Congratulations on your victory. You must be tired. Please come in. Is that just one wife or a bunch of wives? Farewell, I had a good time. Ha ha ha. I'll look at uh, Chaos or Titi's in Japan ending. I got junk. I wish I could have something better. She's got a crocodile with her. That crocodile. Jewels are the best after all. It makes more sense for her name to be TT. Bobby's ending. Now Bobby has one and has to check as a reward. A million dollars. It was a tough day, but with this... <laughs> He's a Santa. Merry Christmas. Everyone has been good. I'll say thank you to Santa Claus, everyone. Santa Claus with an eye patch. I think that would scare the kids. Oh, look at Goldor's ending. Goldor will now be able to rebuild his fighting ring in Paris with the prize money. Yeah, he's French. Do you like my fighting ring, huh? Says to a bird. His follower, Mr. Goldor, time for practice. He has Ernest Borgnine eyelashes. Or eyebrows. <laughs> But that was Marshall Champion by Konami in 19, 1993. Kind of a Street Fighter 2 knockoff, but not not too bad. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Marshall Champion by Konami in 1993. I'll be back soon with another video. See ya, folks. Bye.